calling here. We are still talking about anatomy of loss. Where are we? Violence, vanity, and neglect. Cassette launch, Friday, 10th of December. You know the score. So yeah, violence, vanity, and neglect. I remember writing this song. I, I know where the initial. I remember writing, that's where that, that's where that song started. I got a Strymon delay pedal. Strymon El Capistan. Still have it. I'm not currently using it. I would like to be, but long story. But I got the delay pedal and it's just a very inspiring guitar pedal and I remember putting it on and writing that riff and it was just fucking class. I love the, the repeats on it. It just worked so well. So it just kind of inspired that whole song and then dropped into the very um, Typical, I guess. Typical Doom Death. The real My Damn Bright sort of vibe to that, that particular riff. I have to say, it's one of the few tracks that if I could go back in time, I would rewrite ever so slightly. The initial riff, I just love that. And I like the riff. I, li I like all the riffs. I just think the structure could have been slightly better. I don't know whether people disagree or not, but um, because I always felt like I would like to have made those changes, it didn't really gel with me live, so don't tend to do it that much. In fact, I think we've done it live once, maybe twice. And I guess there's always going to be those songs on an album that just don't quite work the way you want them to live. And that's one of them, sadly. I, I do like the riffs, I really do. And I like the words, the lyrics to it are yeah, kind of cool. I really like the title. Lyrically, the song touches on that sort of self-neglect whenever you feel like you've maybe let someone down and rather than just sort of deal with it and while you apologize or sort it out or fix it, you go into that self-destruct mode of just ruin and hurt yourself instead of trying to fix it so that is where violence vanity and neglect comes from sort of very ego driven which i can associate with there are definitely elements of it that are fantastic i love the heavy bits of it boom 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 again drums are great I say all the parts are great i just think the structure could change slightly and i love the sort of the break in the middle the sort of bridge bit Real black metal, proper Norwegian black metal sort of vibe to it. I really, I really like those chords. I say I'm just a wee bit annoyed at myself that I didn't write it better because I would like to do it live more often. Maybe I should just rewrite it and just do a live edit or re-record it on another album. Violence, family, and neglect. Will we do it live? Maybe. <laughs> we haven't played it in fucking years, so we need to get it a lot better. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen on Friday the 10th of December in the limelight 2 in the evening for the release. Oh, why though? I'll sell this one cheaper. That was Bounce Family in the Glass.